Hello, I'm Cardinal Kennedy and uh, today I'm giving you a teaching from the Return of Christ book. Today's teaching is free will. Within each and every one of you is what should be considered a divine gift. One that may help you ascend to impossible heights or to be revealed as an affliction that you were not meant to have in this current state of being. Though God's plan for mankind did change in accordance to the act of disobedience within the Garden of Eden, this plan progressed into something that would better prepare mankind for its de destiny. It's what our Lord spoke of when he said to Satan, You stood before the council, professed your belief that the children of earth should be free to choose their own path, even if it led to their demise. Do you still believe those words? This decision was the cause of our fall and the beginning of our rise to the new kingdom that is so very close to us now. I will stop there for a moment and say if you wish to obtain your own copy of the Return of Christ book then go to Amazon where you'll be able to obtain it on Kindle or if you prefer paperback version in black and white or in colour depending upon your preference. I shall now resume the teaching. It's called the free agency of man or free will and you've had this since the time when we were cast out of Eden. We've all been allowed the time in this world to use the gift wisely. Genesis 3.3 3. But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of paradise, God hath commanded us that we should not eat, and that we should not touch it, lest perhaps we die. Should you choose correctly, you will become more like God than any race. But if you choose poorly, you will be completely destroyed. This is the result of free will. Genesis 3, verse 6 to 7. And the woman saw that the tree was good to eat, and fair to the eyes, and delightful to behold. And she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat and gave to her husband who did eat, and the eyes of them both were opened. So, fellow demigods, mankind, it's for you to decide. The goodness remaining is in this world has been made clear. There is a straight path to paradise where the tree of life remains to be tasted by those worthy to enter the gate soon to be reopened. Eternal life, life given fully with abundance in the name of God and his son Rael. Revelation 22.2 In the midst of the street thereof and on both sides of the river was the tree of life, bearing twelve fruits, yielding its fruits every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And here is the end of the lesson. And I will say to you, love God, love each other. Amen. Bye for now.